Back in New South Wales, our dreams were cut short as we were up and ready to go before the sun was. New crew, eh? Yeah, team, eh, Gary? <laughs> we were giving Steve's dogs a rest this morning and running Gary's. My mind's in another world. Before too long, the dogs had jumped looking fairly keen. Bit more energy? Yeah. Oh, the yeah, pig's there. Where? Up there, on the right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's one alright, one. Tristan's on that one. Yeah, Tristan. Hope he gets a big one. Bob's chasing. There's more pigs out there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go up. Well, you want to keep filming me. Poke up the mm -hmm. fence. We might be able to get some more with these young dogs. Yeah, got him. You right? Sweet. Yeah. Swing in here. The dogs had split up with Tristran picking out what looked to be the pick of the bunch. He was soon joined by the young red healer Kelpie pup Boss before Gary got in there. Eleven-year-old Bob had come out of retirement and had hold of another young boar that pretty quickly had the tables turned on him. So we had two straight off the bat, and the day was young. Onwards and upwards. <laughs> Bob, although he'd be feeling it later, looked pretty happy to be out again. He's a dog of unknown breeding, but has served Gary really well over the years. With the sun now up, we moseyed along. And within only 10 minutes, the dogs were off and looking excited again. The dogs were doing their job, there was no doubt about that. But we were starting to think our expectations of the property might have been a little too high. Jason had come here four months earlier during harvest time and was literally driving past mobs to get to better boars. And just the week before we'd arrived, we were told they'd seen 400 while mustering. Now don't get me wrong, we were still catching pigs, but it seemed like they'd either moved on, or we, with no experience between us in this area, were just looking in the wrong places. Quick, sir. All we could do was keep trying new ground and hope we found where they were. This boar was a step in the right direction, and after spotting this mob not long after, we were hoping we'd turn the corner. They looked pretty good at first, but as we got closer, it looked like a mob of sows and suckers. Every now and then you'll come across a dog who'll run past the little ones to find the biggest. Tristan didn't have that problem. He just grabbed the first one within reach. We left him to it and dropped Steve's pup on one of the bigger ones as the train of suckers rolled on past. We 
like they got all the little ones. There were some pretty awesome coloured pigs amongst them, and it would have been really good to be running into their grandfathers rather than them. Another mob, and then we got to see Bob go to work. He was older and a bit slower, but still had that drive to find a pig. Yeah, we'll get one here, eh? There was plenty of old sign about, and it looked like when they were there, they were there in numbers. They just seemed to have gone. Whether they'd spooked them enough while they were mustering, or whether they were just chasing a better food source, it seemed like we'd missed the boat with them. But the dogs were still out there and had done a fair bit of travelling on the scent. What they at now? Oh, eh? The old dog will be getting put up after this one. Uh, but Nick back in the cage. Is a, he's an awesome little dog. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes that's really good, sometimes it's a real pain. <laughs> it can be, yeah. Like this morning, we sometimes get a lot of false jumps and all that. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there they go, one. Hurry up. Yeah, they do. You can hear it. They'd gone over a K by the time we got to them, and as soon as we arrived, Bob went and found some shade. <laughs> the old fella was feeling it. <laughs> So we dropped them in some water and decided there was no point pushing them any further. It was time to head back to camp. We spent the start of the evening getting some campfire therapy before loading up Steve's dogs and hitting the trail. In issue 25, I mentioned I'd hunted with one of the most enthusiastic hunters I've ever seen. That's my dog, Lord. Well, I think I've met his rival. Jason was along for the ride with us tonight and also joining us was his older brother Kevin. Kevin proved to be a little bit like a shark who smelt blood in the water. We set out with the moon just past full and the dogs rearing to go. Within half an hour we'd got our first jump. Where'd they go? Uh -huh. At this point Kev was behind us, which was good, that was part of the plan. We stick together and I try and get some footage. Fine. The dogs were moving out pretty quick when I heard what I thought was a hit up. Yeah. Huh? Heard that? I didn't hear anything. Yeah, I heard it. We split up. Yeah. I don't want it. 501 at 630. Yeah. You heard it? I think it's ice onto it. It was just like a... Was it? Mm. I lost something. Did it get in drop closer? You heard a hit up. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure I did anyway. You must have been, they're going pretty quick. Steve decided to close the gap on the dogs a bit and it was at this point that the plan to stick together fell apart. Right, we'll go out this track. Sure? Yeah, they're up here. Still moving out? Oh, I've lost them. I split up socks, he's heading back towards the crop. The dogs had gone over a K from where we first lost them, and fast. Kev, we think, had driven in and cut them off, and then, rather than keep chasing the pig, they jumped on the bike. You must have a pig. Radio. Yeah. Kev, copy. Kev, 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 Kev. 
Oh no, he's gone. Socks have run, Danny. How would he know where Socks is if he didn't hear me? Socks has run to him, maybe. Yeah, but why would he be heading over there? Weird, it's right? like Kev went straight to him. I don't know what he was doing. Kevin must have heard something. How Hopefully. does he know where he is then? Like Kevin just, just like, drive that direction. If Kevin's there, maybe we'll wait for him to... Kev was just keen. He hadn't been out in a while, so we had a chat and got it all sorted. He was most apologetic. So when the dogs had jumped again, we were pretty relaxed. We'd put the stuff up behind us, but younger brother Jason thought he'd just remind Kev again. And then they let out one bark. They're both together. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. <laughs> Pulled up. Yeah, I think it's sitting. Let's go. We we'll drive down the track further. Quick. And we were on. We jumped back in the buggy to close in on them and set off. But it was looking like somewhere between, dude, I understand, and the dogs barking, Kevin had a lapse in understanding. Not only had he got there first, he'd got there, killed the pig, loaded the dogs, and was on his way back to us. He wasn't mucking about. He's got them. What happened? Yeah. Sorry. I don't know how clean you are. So after that, we drove miles without joy until we ran out of fuel. Sleep, recharge, Try again in the morning.